Hello everybody, how's it going? Awesome Soul here, and we are back in Istralid, this time back into the campaign. So I figured, since we kind of haven't done the campaign for a little bit, I took that break episode, I guess you could say, and showed off how the AI works, why not jump back in? So I've loaded up my single player fleet, and I will hop into the fighter battle. So they are light mobile fighters. Oh, what's this? Power batteries, okay. So, I guess we can put that there, there, and there. That's gonna look kinda similar to a ship I've had before. I could put it up there. That would look a bit odd. Ooh, I know. I have to make my ships look somewhat unique. There we go. That's kind of different. So yeah, basically, if you want to make a cheap fighter, definitely go with batteries over the actual generators and have a power ship. It's worked quite well for me. Okay. Oh boy. Fun. So let's get as many of these guys taken out as possible. Yeah, just because these are cheap, and they're gonna die fairly quickly, let's just spam a whole bunch. Alright, move out! Attack! Looks like they are on the run, which is good. Alright, let's get you stationed here, and two of these guys... Oh. You need to come back up here. Let's get these two stationed at this point. They're fairly tanky. Not super tanky, but tankier than some of my other fleet. Of course, my fleet is fairly small. So let's keep pushing up. I think those guys are out of battery. No, they just don't want to move in. Okay. Uh, I guess I don't really need these ones right now, because they're not really tanky. They can provide their own power, so they'll stay in the fight for longer. But those two power packs are providing a lot of uh, energy, so I'm not too concerned. I'll get those guys to move up and spawn a bunch, keep them on this point. Let's keep them back. Okay, and we got plenty of cash, so I think I'm going to spawn a horde of these guys and have them surround this point right there. Actually, I ended up using all my money. Oh, well. So yeah, of course, there's no idle power cost. When they're not moving or firing, they're using no power. So, just something to keep in mind when using battery-only ships. And there we go, we have unlocked the battery. Lovely. So where can we go here? Ooh, we can get heavyweight armor, high, fire, high fi firepower basic cruisers, or the plasma turret. High hit point, slower battleships. Hmm. Armor or offense? Hmm... Well, we have... Uh... Yeah, let's go with armor. Oh, wow. Hello there. That's a lot of weapon points. Okay. Uh, we got the battery, we got that. Uh, yeah. Light beams. That works. I guess. Certainly a lot of them. That's going to use a lot of power, though. Um, scout thruster. And the battery. Oh, I help if I actually put the battery on it. Uh, good health. It needs some turning. That's what it needs. It needs a bit more turning still. Hmm. 
Yeah, the thing is though, it's gonna cost a lot to spawn this thing in. And it's very slow. Grab more thrusters, increase the price even further, and drag parts off to delete them. Yeah, I guess we could. Hmm. If I take that off, then... Uh... Yeah, see, it's not really a long-range fighter anyways, so it needs speed. It, it can tank things pretty well, but... Uh, yeah. Alright, that's a bit better. Battery, no, I don't really need all those batteries. So yeah, this will just be an armor ship, basically just there to be a bullet sponge. Okay, I think that's good. Drag parts off to delete them. Uh, okay, I, yeah. I was wondering, is there a certain number of parts I, I have to click off? But I guess not. Okay, so let's spawn in two of these heavy ships, get them to defend that point there. Spawn in some battery ships to help fight off these guys. Alright. So those seem fairly tough. Okay. So I guess that's what they wanted me to build. Oh well. I think mine do have more health than they do. So speaking of, let's bring in one more of these, bring in some more of the light fighters, or the battery ships, whichever you prefer to call them. Let them spread out a bit. Act as a wall. They're holding up fair- well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. They were holding up fairly well, but now they have uh, died a quick death. They lasted quite a while though. So I guess it was a good idea to go for the armor over the extra light beams. I guess I don't really need that many. Alright, let's move you up. And move you up. So it seems those things are tougher than my light fighters, but they're probably more expensive. Let's get you pushing further. Spawn another one for defense. And more light fighters. Uh, I love how I haven't even touched that one. That was the first ship, but like, with how quickly these things die, I don't really think I need something that expensive and weak. Because, sure, it can generate its own power, but chances are it's going to die before it can really do anything. Just like that. You know... Those poor ships. Cool. Alright. Push up. I think we got this. Uh, one more for good measure. Okay. Bring you up, just in case. Instantly gonna die. Well, not instantly, but close to it. Let's get some of these cannon fodder ships up. Those are gonna go down soon. Yeah. That one's almost dead. That one... Well, it doesn't matter, because we have won. Unlocked our heavyweight armor. These ones are the biggest pieces. Or in the quote-unquote biggest piece category. Because the full cube and this one with a little notch on the side have the same health, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we could continue on. Ooh, 270 turret mount. That is volumetric armor, various types. Ooh, the flat cannon. Um, heavy plasma, turret mount, or volumetric armor. I think I'm going to go with the plasma turret because it has a lot more range than our light beam currently. So there's our heavy armor, almost hitting a thousand. And it's a lot cheaper than that other ship, too. 
Hmm, what do I want? Oh boy, look at all of these choices. Uh, I have a choice between light beam and light beam and light beam. I think I'm gonna go with the light beam. What about you guys? I think that's a good choice. Uh, scout thruster there. So this is basically just gonna be a super tanky point capturing thing. I think that's what I'll go for. Because this one is a little faster, costs more, and it can get around fairly quickly. This one, however, is going to be designed for sticking on the points, not really moving anywhere, because that's a lot of health that they have to blast through. Now, do I want more speed, though? That's the question. Hmm. Again, that's going to bring the cost up. No. Yeah, I'll keep this low cost, but just pack on some batteries, because I think it's going to need them. Other than that... Oh, hmm. Yeah, it's definitely going to need the batteries. Okay. Um, 330, 430. It's $100 cheaper, and it's got almost double the armor. So I think that's good. Let's go with this. This is our super tanky point defending, not really point capturing, bot. So grab you, start moving you out. Damn, you're slow. And let's get some fighters going. All right, move you up. And it looks like their light units are fairly tough. Might be a bit of a problem for our fighters. So we'll have to swarm them if we want to really do anything. How is your health? Oh, there's that plasma. All right, move you up. Let's get that point capped. All right. I believe we can get a rally point. Let's put the rally point there. Okay. Um, you've run out of power. That's why you need some batteries. Nice. Uh, I'm looking okay. I'm uh, probably going to go down very soon, though. So let's grab two more of these things. Already going to the waypoint. I like that. So let's grab you, since you're going to the waypoint. You can go to that point. Already running out of power. So when I get the plasma cannon, that's something I'm going to have to watch out for. Actually, let's get you to move up. Alright. Hopefully they don't move down. These things are way too slow. I mean, it's good to have something tanky to hold points, at least in this game mode, but I don't think I necessarily need them. Versus a fleet like this, anyways. So I'm gonna keep spawning in these heavy ships. Those ones are okay there, because they're... Oh, he's getting a bit ballsy. And off he goes. Oh, well. Take a look at the health on that thing. Wow. Barely dropped. Mind you, these guys have been having power issues, so their DPF isn't too high. Um, let's keep you on this point, because they finally decided to attack for whatever odd reason. Stick you there. So far, so good. Okay. Let's spawn a batch of these fighters. Grab you. And help swarm this guy. Get you to move up. Might have been a bad idea. Drained his power, though. So that's good. And let's get my offense ship. So it seems like versus this heavy fleet, they are called the tank fleet. I think I'm going to hold off on spawning those drones, keep with the heavier ships. But it looks like the AI on these things is telling them to run away from 
anything bigger than them. So I guess it's a good idea that I spawned a whole bunch of big ships. Almost. Almost. Heck yeah, there we go. Plasma turret unlocked. So we can now skip into the main area of the galaxy, I guess you could say. But I think before I do that, I'm going to make my way all the way up here, up this arm, and then work into the center of the galaxy. Let's just take a look. What can we get here? The bulk thruster, that'll be good. It's a low power cost, but it weighs a lot. So that's good for really offensive ships that are going to be slow anyways. But by the time they get to their point, they're going to have more power to use because, of course, they use less power to thrust. So, so far so good. We got a pretty good haul here. And... What else do we have... Yeah, I can't really see anything new, but next time I'll go for the 270 turret mount, I think. Anyways, guys, I thank you so much for watching. Again, well, not really again, but just down below, let me know if you guys are still enjoying this series and want to see me conquer the galaxy. So, with that, I've been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.